Hey YouTube, today we are going to be watching some replays, this time of Atomic. We're going to do the same thing we've been doing in the past, where we found a couple of Atomic's top scoring replays for us to get an idea of how he plays in the RLCS. Now, Atomic won the MVP of the, what was it, Winter Split? Winter Split in LA, G2. That team won the entirety of the Major and Atomic was frequently referenced as the best player for that team. So how has he fared here in the Spring Split? These games are only from the Spring Split. And so we'll take a look. Uh, I'll be honest, looking through the replays, G2 actually seemed like a pretty balanced team. It wasn't uh, incredibly obvious that one player was standing out, at least by in-game score. Now, that's not necessarily the greatest indicator of a player's performance. But we got this game against FaZe. This is one of Atomic's higher scoring games. So we will see how he performs alongside his G2 brethren to see whether or not we should expect this team to move on and win another major. They actually have won two of the three regionals in this split. If you guys haven't been paying attention to the RLCS, they almost won three, which is something that I never would have expected from anybody in North America or EU. I think it's hard enough to win a single regional. I didn't think I would see anybody winning all three regionals and we might see that. You know, we saw it almost with Team Queso in EU and we saw it now almost with G2 in NA. And in a week or so, we'll have a chance to find out if BDS can do it as they have the first two regionals under their belt. But that is something I thought we reserved just for the Middle East, just for the Falcons. This is just a really fast-paced game. I think this could be the reason why it's one of Atomic's better performing ones. But this is from game one against FaZe. I'm not sure which game one, if I'm being honest. I think they played FaZe in this last weekend, and I want to say it's from one of those. But I could double-check that. I'll be honest, I'm not quite sure. They did end up playing FaZe in the Grand Finals twice. G2 was able to sweep them in the first match, but in the second one, FaZe was able to get the win. Chicago off the backboard. What a kill from Atomic. That actually is a really hard shot, I feel like, that Atomic just scored. That ball coming off the backboard with some serious heat. He needed to get his wheels perfectly on the ball to make sure that the momentum died and then fell crossbar down. And a player less talented would certainly have been banging that. Oh, what a save as well. Coming from high, able to save the bottom left corner. But a less talented player, they end up booming that shot. And they do not get it crossbar and in. Nice infield pass. FaZe not playing too poorly either. These are a couple of the best teams that North America has to offer. And until we go back to another major, this time in London, we can all tell ourselves that North America is the better region because they did have the better major performance, no doubt about it. But just like when EU had the better performance in fall, that didn't last very long. So we'll see if the dominance can stay over in the UK at the Copper Box. Atomic's going to go a full retreat here. And it seems like it's just typical. First kill is trying to play a little bit of lead blocker, but it's not going to work out. And now Atomic just got to pass all three. FaZe commits so hard. This has got to be either a goal or a nice setup. Wow, good pre-jump by JNAPS. He knew that Atomic couldn't wait it out, couldn't take the full-on shot, and wouldn't come out with enough speed. So instead, Atomic just gives it the heat, but puts it off the backboard. And JNAPS has the pre-jump to finish it off. Go JNAPS, can you find the angle again? He can't. Atomic out to midfield to nobody. Likely a full retreat from him near now that he has no boost. First killer slapping one on net. Atomic has had some great saves, and I've noticed lots of the top score lines in terms of in-game score from these players come because of a ton of good saves. And here's another one. Atomic is just cleaning up the goal line right now. And a good amount of them are very tough saves. You know, he's had a couple free ones maybe, but... Oh, I can save. That was a save. <laughs> that would be the nuttiest one of all. But G2 had been stuck in defense for a while. Up 4-3. A minute 
and five left on the clock. Good kickoff win. Chicago able to follow it up. Don't expect to see Atomic challenging early, so he will leave. No boost on the map for him until this one respawns. He's got JNAPs upfield. He's going to try and find him. First killer, a little bit slow. Chicago has the better angle. In fact, neither of them have a good angle, so it looks like. So they're not going to be able to follow up that pass. JNAPs upfield. Losing the ball to Chicago. Tapping it all the way down. Candy kill, first killer. This 50, AJ's there though. Probably got registered as a shot attempt. Oh, what a pinch. Tom looking for the pass. He's been trying to find JNAPs upfield. First killer cuts it off. Chicago can't find the dunk. 15 seconds. The G2 need to hold on. Three-way 50-50 there. Coming out in favor of G2. Long clear a shot. Sipical certainly going to send it flying right back. Can G2 hit the ground? Yes, they can. Chicago does hit the ground. So a nice performance by Atomic. Two goals, one assist, six saves. Six saves. Absolutely nutty from him. 923 points. Most of them coming from a great defensive stand. But let's go to another high-scoring game from Atomic. All right, we got another game from Atomic. This time, it's against Rogue. G2 against Rogue, and immediately Atomic's gonna put himself on the board. Takes him five seconds to kick off. Lost into his back corner. Or I say lost. Sent into his back corner. And he is able to use that for an immediate goal. Nice turn and challenge. Nobody else on G2 wanted to challenge. But it's an interesting question. Who do you think has been the MVP of the regular season of the split. I say regular season, meaning we haven't seen the major, which is the playoffs for this split. Seems like you have to pick a G2 member once again because G2 has looked so dominant. FaZe maybe the only other team worthy of being on the list of potential MVPs. Unless you think there is a player out there who is carrying their team in the, you know, three to six range so incredibly hard that they'd be worthy of being considered as the MVP. But I think some people might say JNAPS. JNAPS has had a really good split and both JNAPS and Atomic, two people that could probably be argued for best player in this split, just team up for a bit of an own goal. Atomic gonna have to back off as Taroko able to take an easy shot on net, but Atomic is certainly there. Once again, looking for a teammate upfield with his touches whenever possible. This time he can't. He drops it down and just steals the back corner boost. Definitely seem interested in demoing Gyro if possible, but wasn't going to stop his rotation to do so. Interesting decision by Atomic to send us back into the corner where a rogue member was. I felt like that was actually an opportunity to just roll it across the net where no rogue defender was around. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe there was a rotation from a rogue player. Atomic trying to shoot against two defenders in net. And instead of trying to slam it right at net where they could save it easily, gives it slightly awkward positioning so that his team can continue on offense. Sometimes you need to recognize when your touch is not going to be the goal. And I think Atomic did and played for the long con in order to get the rest of his team involved. But another instant goal. G2 hasn't looked too solid in these scrambling situations. And these kickoffs have looked great though. They've been lost his kickoffs back into the left corner where Atomic is every time, which is very impressive. The demo from JNAPS, Atomic stealing back corner and midfield boost. Most likely because he was worried that a member of Rogue was going to end up wanting it. He certainly didn't need another right away. Oh, Aqua. Interesting double. Couldn't find an angle into the net. Atomic doesn't have enough boost to get back to this, so Taroko will outpace JNAPS. JNAPS a big fake. Demo on the orange half by Atomic. Taking some Rogue players out with some aggression. Oh, Chicago undercutting Gyro. That was seemed like a really good opportunity for G2 to potentially score, but nobody around even though Rogue was panicking on the goal line.
JNAPs pop high into the corner. Atomic, I wonder if he's going to try and kill this to himself. Yeah. Not surprisingly. One to try and get two touches in a row. Gyro did a good job of pressuring that, though. Preventing him from getting anything perfect. Ooh, look at the shot on that. I'm honestly not sure whether they win or lose. I assume that these games in which I picked high scoring performances from these players are wins. But I guess you never know. This is a tight one. Aqua. Carry and dumped. Atomic absolutely juking himself out of his own shoes as he tried to jump left with the ball he thought was headed, but it was not. JNAP's 50. Can Atomic beat Aqua? He tried to use the wall dash to help him beat Aqua. It didn't matter. Aqua still able to get the win. A minute left to go. Nice save. Atomic getting there just in time. Soft touch. Just going to clear it. All the way down the field. Pop it up for a teammate. Wow, what a simple pass that eventually gets the goal. Just a little bit too much of an all-in from Rogue. And as they tried to recover late, they couldn't stop Atomic from just chipping it off and letting his teammates finish it. Atomic definitely playing more passive now. They might have gotten scored on here, though. As he got demoed, a little bit lucky that long shot wasn't in. Atomic getting a little unaware as that last defender Left open an open net after getting demoed. Needs to be watching out. Now a 3-2 lead. Aqua, he is dangerous in the air. Chicago's going to get the save this time instead of Atomic. But Atomic definitely had it. Oh my goodness, G2 scrambling. They cannot agree on who should be getting this clear. That's a nice 50 at the midfield, but it's still going to be Rogue for the final opportunity of regulation. A double Atomic the save. It hits the ground. Wow. An incredible save. From Atomic. So there is Atomic's two higher scoring game or highest scoring games that I was able to find from this split. And I think most of them coming from saves, five different saves. So the goal line saves definitely very helpful for your point score. And Atomic has done a good job and a really crucial one to end this one. So who do you guys have? Do you have Atomic again as the MVP? Do you maybe have JNAPS, Chicago, maybe a non G2 member? Let me know. I'd be interested to see.